Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Autumn Colors Podcast, the podcast where if you're happy, I'm happy. Oh, my apologies. I was reading off the script for Spider-Man 2. I'm your host, The Art Sosa Show. Today, I'm joined with a very special guest, uh, Superstar Lena, if you want to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Superstar Lena. You can call me Star Lena for short, or Star for even shorter. <laughs> yes, and today is going to be a very interesting uh episode because this one is going to be about the game pizza tower now personally it's not that i uh, don't care about it it's just that i haven't gotten around to playing it so my guest here is going to be talking uh sort of giving me the rundown about this game and what she's like her experience playing this game and everything and more so this is going to be in its own way sort of a pitch to uh get me into the game in its own way uh, but before we get into that i do have to ask how are you doing uh i'm doing all right just got off work a few few hours ago and well I'm just chilling right now i'm uh i'm here or there it's uh Finals are coming up, so I'm a little taxed, but I'm getting everything I can done. Things are going on the fritz every now and then, but I'm getting what I can done and out the door, so that way I can be able to just move on. But yeah. So, yeah, thank you for answering that. And, uh... In the meantime, we are going to be talking about Pizza Towers, so among everything else, I think the first question I have is, how did you hear about it? Well, um, I've actually heard about it through um, someone, I forgot who it was, but someone in uh, Kageo's uh, Discord server mm -hmm. has posted, I believe, one of the three parts of the final boss scene for Pizza Tower. Mm -hmm. And I was listening to it. I mean, very damn catchy. And found out there were three parts to it. Mm -hmm. So, listened to all three. Thought, damn, that's a banger. That was when I started like looking up the game itself. Okay. Um. And I'll tell you right now. It's my. It's pretty much a confession. I've actually been spoiled on the game before I played it myself. And even then, I, due to life and all that, I still haven't finished the game yet. Really? Okay. Um, you know, I mean, like, uh, I mean, I, I understand where that's coming from, even though I haven't played it. I mean, like, in my perspective, like, I love games like Soul Hackers 2, even though I have yet to actually beat it. So. Um, and, you know, on that note, mostly, it's just, like, I mean, even if you aren't finished, I do have to ask, it's just, like, uh, what necessarily do you like or dislike about the game? Well, um, since when I've heard that it was based off the game Wario Land 4, and I played that as a kid, mm -hmm. I was kind of interested in, uh, basically its mechanics and... I'll admit it's it's kind of harder to do by your, to do in person than they <laughs> usually see in let's plays and all that. Mm -hmm. But once you get the hang of those controls, oh man, is pretty much a rush at that point. Mm -hmm. Out of everything, I would say I have to ask. Um... Ultimately, how much time have you sunk into it? Uh, I put in about uh, a few hours into it. Because game-wise, um, I say I was like... Because going through the tower itself, it's like five floors in total. I've only done like one and a half at this point. Oh, so, okay. I'm on floor two, did a couple of levels, but uh, then I didn't have any more time to play it. Hmm. Right. Yeah. 
it's just uh it's, it's just a whole thing on like uh work-life balance and it's just like a matter of uh pretty much when you can you'll get back into it or yeah pretty much I, especially I since hmm. no go ahead yeah especially since there's a new up there's actually a new update mm-hmm. where the noise one of the one of the bots is becomes playable so i really need to get back into it and prepare yeah yeah i get that uh it's just like i i have i have ultimately been there where um you know just life catches up and it's just like you got shit like you as much as you want to play a game as much as you want to like you know beat it and everything as much as you want to continue playing it shit you got shit to do and everything like just things come up and you know it is what it is yeah pretty much yeah um pretty much uh so on that note is uh everything like pizza tower would you say it is uh like your favorite game or like in terms of uh say a top 10 list or a tier list like what would you rank uh pizza tower is at this moment with how much you played it well since i haven't fully finished the story i wouldn't say it's my favorite as of yet Mm mm-hmm but I would say it's definitely a top 10. Okay. Because, oh dear. Because I, I've just pulled out my Steam and I've seen, I've, I put three, I have put three hours into the game. Oh lord. <laughs> yeah, compared to, Jesus Christ. Compared to 100 hours of Vampire Survivors. <laughs> which I would say that's my favorite. <laughs> So if you want to me up with that game, let me know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, uh, if you want me for the future, if you want to give me, like, sort of a, like, uh, I don't know if you want to do it after, but if, for the future, if you want to give me, like, uh, just a list of games you're either interested in or have had a, like, long uh, uh, time of playing in and everything or just, uh, you know, just getting interested in, like, feel free to uh, just send it my way. And uh, if some things correlate, then, yeah, I'll... Uh, stars align we can do another podcast episode together all right i'm down for it yeah um so yeah that's uh thank you for the questioning and um ultimately uh i think we should uh there's a big reason as to uh why i called you on here and that is because I believe you said you had uh, something in the works in regards to Pizza Tower. Do you want to sort of like talk about it and break that down? Uh, yes. So about a about a year or so ago, I I decided to write write a story about basically a Pizza Tower AU mm-hmm. an alter, an alternate universe because I've seen a whole lot of those going around ever since the game came out. So I wanted to try my hand at it. So I, need, I really need to give you the link to um, yeah, put it on your server. But I I started writing on Tumblr a little AU I call the Comms Corporation. Mm-hmm. So basically, this take it takes place um, a month after Pizza Tower. Basically, after the true ending, basically find all the secret treasures and all that. Mm-hmm. And basically, an, an agent of, of the Cause Corporation, Ella Motzer, actually uh, visits Pepino and basically tells him he's a hit. I forgot to tell you. Mm. Well, in order to explain the story, it's gonna it's gonna have uh, major spoilers mm-hmm. to basically the main story, piece of Tower. But it's been over over a year since it went out, so it shouldn't be no big deal, right? Yeah, I mean, if you do want to, like, avoid, like, giving spoilers and everything, you could, uh... I don't know, like, just in general terms, it's just, like, how much work you put into it, or it's just, like, what you were... Like, like sort of concepts you were digging at and whatnot, like, stuff like that. Hmm. All right. Second. Yeah, take your time. Okay, I thought I just. Oh, sorry, I thought I disconnected for a second. No, no, no you're, but, you're still on. Um. No, I. No, I still explain it a bit. I just had to be vague. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. 
All right. You give people so, a reason it, to check it out and everything. Yes, and I also have uh, I also have a synopsis also on my Tumblr. Mm-hmm. So basically, in my AU, the Collins Corporation is basically like a multi-universal like basically corporation. So basically um, taking the premises of Pizza Tower, there are like multiple towers throughout the multiverse mm-hmm. or either like or just out to cause chaos or just destruction of the world altogether. Mm-hmm. And basically um, Ella Matzer went one of my main, main OCs and an agent of, of the said corporation, Buster Pepino, uh, one month after the main, after the main story. Mm-hmm. Basically, so the princess is there. Without, without spoiling, like, the main char- the main villain's name, mm-hmm. an old enemy of Pepino actually came, comes back and takes over one of the, what's known as the Allied Towers, of the corporation mm-hmm. overthrowing the, the ruler of that tower. Okay. And the villain had issued a challenge to Pepino basically the same story as Pizza Tower. Mm. Uh, basically uh, go to the tower, try to defeat me. If you win, then I'll turn myself in. If you, if you lose, your pizzeria is destroyed and as that Allied Tower has major connections to the corporation itself, basically a gateway to multiple universes, mm-hmm. the stakes are much higher because that villain now has a chance to take over multiple universes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, as of now, um, I'm currently working on Chapter 13, and... Once I get everything done, it should be out by tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so you have 13 chapters in the making. Just, like, how... What's the uh, track record on this? Like, how long have you... Like, when did you start? And, like, how long have you been going for with this? Uh, basically, about... Yeah, about a year. About a year. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's... And I... No, go ahead. And I've planned... Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, I I do have most of the plot planned out. Mm-hmm. So what I've calculated there's a total of say thirty five chapters max maximum, thirty minimum. Wow. Okay. So if I do like one chapter a month I'll be I'd be um finished by uh, probably next year. Possibly. Yeah, but regardless, it is definitely a, like, I can already tell, this is definitely a Patrick project of yours, without a doubt. Yeah, pretty much is. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, that's really good to hear, though. That's, it's nice to hear that's, like, it, it, it's, it's something that you're, like, really invested in and something that you're putting a lot of this, if it sounds right, it sounds, it, this sounds like something you're putting a lot of time, effort, and energy into when you can so it's like if this this actually seems really interesting, and I actually I'm kind of interested to check it out myself. Yeah, cause yeah, on my Tumblr and on the Easy Tower fan server I'm in, only two people have followed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can do my best, but let's see if we can't get that up. a little bit else so uh in regards to pizza tower uh pretty much i have been get uh considering giving a look on my channel uh do you think you could try and pitch it to me see uh maybe it might be something like like if i had the money for it right now and i could have the choice to buy it it's just like can you give me sort of pitch it to me and sort of break it down in terms of why i should buy it right now Mm. Well, I'm not the best salesperson, but I could give it a try. Try me. Well, I'm. I can't put this. So, 
Keys to Tower is basically very um, fast-paced gameplay, mm-hmm. banger, banger soundtrack. Um, okay, not the best graphics, but if you're into like um, cartoons such as Ren and Stimpy and all that, the art is basically like a love letter to it. Mm-hmm. And well, can't really give you experience to like all all the stages and boss battles, but each of them have a very good, very good, unique mechanic. And oh boy, damn, that is the best I can do. I, like I said, I'm not, not a salesperson. I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that does sound uh, pretty interesting. Uh, if I had the money, I would check it out myself. Um, but yeah, uh, in terms of Pizza Tower, it's like for the future. Uh, yeah, you said there was updates coming up. Or it's like in regards to those, it's like just anything you're majorly excited for. Well, well, the update's already out like mm. a few days ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but I'm, in the sense of it, I mean, like, you, uh, you, I, you start on finished it, so you could just say it's just, like, in terms of returning to the game, anything you're going to be excited for? Um, uh, like I said before, I, I have been spoiled on the game before I buy it, so I know what to expect, I just haven't got to experience it yet myself. Mm-hmm. But I am pretty excited about... Well, some of the stages seem pretty fun, and oh yeah, the boss battles, they, each with their own mechanics and quirks, mm-hmm. I mean, I say they're pre- pretty good, like, not just for wa- watching them, but, like, um, like, taking them down yourself. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, pretty much, uh, if there's anything else you want to, like, sort of say and everything, uh, pretty much, yeah, again, you have the floor, otherwise we can pretty much, I think, wrap up here. Uh, um, I, I honestly don't have anything. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, apologies for making this your shortest podcast ever. Hey, I mean, it's, uh, it, it's, it, if there's any silver lining here, it'll be a much more breeze to edit this. <laughs> I have had these episodes will go on for like two, three hours, and that's just like, I have to sit and let my computer cook on that. <laughs> At least this is just oh, like, man. okay, yep, uh, post it up, get it done, and upload it. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, but it's fine. I mean, again, if you want to send me like uh, just a game list and uh, just some games we have in common, I mean, we can talk about that next time I bring you on, and that'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I as, as a personal confession, it's just like I I sort of wanted to do this to like invite more of my friends on and everything, and give them a chance to talk about what they're passionate about or what they're happy about or what they like. And sort of just, you know, just let them go off. And I mean, hey, if nothing else, this is sort of like a testing ground for how that would work. A testing ground for like games that I'm personally am not either I haven't played or uh, maybe I haven't like maybe not be interested in and so on and so forth. But my friends are interested in it and they're loving it. So it's just like, let them go off. And this might be best for me because I, well, I never have a chance to like discuss about what I actually like, especially when it comes to gaming. Oh yeah, it's just like uh, it's just like again, you have an open invite. If there is something that you want to discuss and everything, especially if it's something that like you and I both have played and whatnot, if you, like hundred percent, you can ask. Hey, can uh, can I come onto the podcast for this episode? Like, sure, absolutely, we can set something up. Right? Because yeah, this is a new experience for me. And yeah. I- and to, anyone <laughs> listening, that, and to anyone listening, that is not uh, across the board. You, you gotta, you, you gotta know me first before that can even be a possibility. Fair. 
I'm not having the guy who, I, I'm not having some guy from New Jersey come on here talking about feet, all right? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't I, I'm a degenerate, but I'm, I got, I got, I, 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 have, with standards. I have standards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. Yeah, ultimately that is it. Um, if you do want to plug anything, feel free to. Well, uh, you know what? Yeah. Um, you could find me, at, you can find me on Tumblr at um, tumblr.com slash superstarlina. My, my AU and my page on air is called The Columns Corporation with new chapters, new chapters coming in every, every month. So stay tuned for chapter 13. I'll be able to get that out by tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, personally for me, uh, a lot of you already know, I got a uh, portfolio on ArtStation. I got Instagram. Uh, I have Twitch. I'm currently off there right now. You can subscribe to me on YouTube, uh, so on and so forth. And, uh, hey, if you want to donate to me and help support this channel and everything, ko-fi.com slash the Uh But, yeah, pretty much that is going to be it. Thank you so much, Star, for joining me. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. Yeah. Rome. and uh yeah that's uh gonna do it so everyone out there i hope you all take care and uh see y'all next time peace oh boy.